Hey, what's up? What's happening, guys? I uh, hope you guys are well. Keeping warm, it's a very... it's Winter has really crept up on us here in Johannesburg. So I hope you guys are keeping very warm uh, today. So today's video, I wanted to actually talk about... I'm not really talking in the video per se. I'm kind of linking you to another video. Um, and this video is... I was interviewed by a show called SME On Point um, a couple of weeks ago. Well, it's more like a couple of months now, if I'm honest. I was interviewed in February of this year, 2021. And basically, they came to my studio and they were interviewing me about my business, what it is that I do, and uh, they also had a look around at my, at my studio. Uh, this is, I, I think I haven't shown you guys my new studio. I keep moving, um, but basically this is, you can see the heater there is on. I've moved again. <laughs> I seem like I'm always moving, but that's besides the point. Uh, basically, uh, for this video, I just want you guys to have a look at the interview that I did on SME On Point. And I realized that I hadn't really spoken about this interview and the fact that it happened. So this is an opportunity for those of you that didn't get to see it. And I'll also link to the, to the, to the interview as well down below if you want to check that out. The full interview if you want to check that out below. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. And once again, thank you for the support. If you do like the video, comment, share, like, you know the whole spiel. And until we meet again, we will speak very soon. Peace. And it's now time for SME On Point. This week, we shine the spotlight on a jewelry design small business that designer and lecturer Tato Khatebe is op op offering um, bespoke pieces. He says not enough attention is given to his trade and wants to change that. Watch his story that's edited by Mango Bangosi. Tato Khatebe was inspired by a character in a local soapy to want to study and design jewelry. He was so inspired that he not only studied it, but is also teaching the trade. Back in the day, we were watching Isidimo, and there was a guy by the name of Parsons Matabane. So when I saw, and that was when I was about to, I think, start uh, high school, when I saw, okay, this guy's a jewelry designer, this sounds interesting. So when I got to university, I thought back to those times and I thought, okay, there's another, it's a young black guy that was doing this and he seemed to be doing quite well and he drew a lot and I'm very good at drawing. So I thought, let me just take this route. Khadebe is known for his unique weave patterns on his pieces, which he says represent a style commonly found in Africa in items such as baskets. But his latest range is inspired by constellations. He says the pandemic has taught him about the importance of unity in times of crisis. Constellations are basically a pattern in the stars that form a pattern, right? So when, when things come together, when the stars come together in that certain way, the pattern is then uh, uh, formed from that. So I wanted to create a range where it kind of speaks to what is happening in the country right now in the world with, with COVID. If people can stand together, and I represent that with the, with the stones that I'm using and the way that they're arranged, one person by themselves doesn't look as impressive, but when we all come together as a pattern, if I can put it that way, you will create something that is beautiful and something that you'd want to basically admire. Khadebe admits that barriers to entry into this industry are high, particularly in South Africa. He says South Africa needs to prioritize beneficiating its raw materials to promote local production and create much needed jobs. It's very unfortunate that what we'll do is the mining will happen and then we will sell the, the, the raw materials to a China or an India and then we will import them back into the country as finished product. Whereas there are people who are capable of making the stuff here and you know beneficiation has to happen in this country especially because one the materials are here two you are creating jobs but not even these obstacles will deter khatebe from making it in this industry and to continue teaching others he encourages consumers to prioritize buying locally designed jewelry the end in mind is people in the country have to know that there are other other um sources 
of jewelry that you can find outside of the mass-produced stuff that you'll find in your stores. There are people who are very talented, people who are graduating every year who can do as good a job, if not better, out there. So if I can see that happening, and I think a place like Italy has that, where there are a lot of jewelry designers there mm -hmm. who are rivaling what's happening in the stores. If we can get to that stage, then I'll say, you know, the job has been done. Diabo Seto, SABC News, Johannesburg. Thank you so much, Tato Khatebe, for sharing your story with SME on Point. Remember that you can get in touch with us on at SME on Point. We do have a Facebook page.